Alright guys, welcome back. Let's see what the uh, other skill is. I want that so bad. <laughs> I think we might just save up for that instead of Garuda's. Roseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready? Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> what? We literally have a Moogle here. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it, Titan took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Real quick. 
quick. I haven't looked at the map. Well, I guess because they want us to rest story. But I wonder if we still have access to these places once we open back up. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. Oh, I just realized it's burnt off. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole it. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Bye, cutie. What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Have you been to the toll? I hear a new shit. The port's letter is another important missive. Misses, missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. Publix play. Look at Gav with his badass eye scar. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing. I reckon I'll see you're done to the. Something big is brewing. I reckon I'll see you're done to wear upon my return. does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. Look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. Hmm. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out. Phoenix feather still Tell burns bright. Man. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. a world 
without mother crystals. Hey. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, he got some new drip. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you. My apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway. Not Martha. I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. The Gathering Storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastport, the Empire's been tightening its grip round the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, 
Everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you've got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Nothing bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. Cocking balls. <laughs> oh my god. Gathering of the storm. <clears throat> Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. Imagine Obelus needing any more than this. Time to head home. Let's go turn in this cock and balls quest. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day.
Badge of might plus one. <clears throat> Use an attack by 12. Uh, why not? We have three icons now, so I guess we could do with the cooldown. Alright, let's um, head over to Martha's Rest and find out what's happened to our good friend Martha. Get you to a physical. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You were. Uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but. All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Dark clouds gather. Cole is right. Let's head to the church. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. <laughs> if those orsons touch an arrow on Martha's head, I'll oh, kill them. Let's hurry. Look. Up ahead. Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria. They fought to defend all her citizens. These are steps too far, even for the Empire. <laughs> See that I ah oh, screw it, let's just grab it. <clears throat> oh. 
No. Are we too late? Damn. There might still be someone inside. Probably the priest. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. Well, you're gonna die here today. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. I think so. Sweet. The breath wind of couch. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Did I have a check back here? No, I didn't. Nice. died protecting him calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies Clive he's breathing we're friends of Martha we're here to help are the Imperials dead they are every last one Told me that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Tell Martha. To beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I shall. Sid, where are you? Sid! In here. We found a survivor. Clive. He's gone.
We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. All right. Mortal remains. All right, cool. We're going to wrap it up here. And when we return, we will, uh, excuse me, we will go put the remains to rest. So I will see you guys in the next part.